JLC PCB, a PCB manufacturer where you can get high quality PCBs for low prices. Why choose JLC PCB? JLC PCB offers you an affordable price for only $99 per square meters of two sided PCBs. You can get 10 2 layer PCBs up to 100 by 100 millimeters for only $2. All PCBs are 100% tested and made of A-level bolt material with up to 99% on-time delivery. You will have them in no time. They have created a very easy system where you can just upload your Gerber files and order the PCBs instantly without any worries. In case you have any special wishes like the color of the PCB, you can change these directly after uploading your files. Now let me tell you about the production process of your PCB. First, the Gerber file will be checked by engineers for any errors. If no errors are found, your file will be forwarded to the laser plotters and made into photo masks or films. The photo plotter takes bolt data and converts it into an image. After it's plotted, a sheet of bolt material will be cut to size and panelized. Once sized correctly, the corresponding holes will be drilled into the copper not only for through-hole components, but also for vias. This is an automated process which loads and unloads the panels by itself. That whole board surface is coated in a thin layer of photosensitive edge resist as a dry film. This layer is then exposed to UV light. Any areas that haven't been exposed due to the photo mask will remain unhardened. It's now ready to be baked to increase durability. To increase the thickness of the remaining copper, a process called electroplating will be used to exposed areas and inside plated through holes. The exposed areas are then plated with a thin layer of tin. Now the bolt surface will get etched. Etching will remove all unwanted copper foil from the bolt which leaves you with a bolt which is starting to look like your own CAD design. Now it's time for the final inspection. This is being done by an automated process. It will detect faults such as tracks with over etched edges or regions where photo resist has been scratched or chipped. They use this method since it's hard to detect these faults with an electrical continue test. Time to apply the solder mask. An epoxy coating is applied to the bare circuit board to prevent accidental solder bridging and protect them from the environment. By default, this coating is green but you can choose from a wide variety of colors as well. Once your board has the desired color, it will go into a special type of inkjet printer, which will apply a silk screen using white edge resistant ink. This will be done so customers can understand their board's component layout. After curing the silk layer screen and epoxy coating, the nearly finished board are plated with electrolysis gold over nickel, silver or hot air solder leveled surface. This finish has two essential functions, the first one being protecting the exposed copper from corrosion and to provide solderable surface when soldering your board. The panelized boards will now be shaped to suit and closed via a computer controlled milling or routing machine. By profiling, boards will receive a smooth edge once cut. Now your PCBs are basically done. It's time for one last check. This will be done with electrical connectivity test and visual inspection. Once they're ok, they will be packed and shipped right to you. Due to the large range of options, you will most likely succeed every time. From PCBs up to 6 layers with a max dimension of 400 by 500 mm, the possibilities are endless. Interested and want to know more about JLC PCB? Check out JLCPCB.com